The Ministry of Defense and Hindustan Aeronautics has signed the $6.5 billion contract for 73 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets and 10 Mark 1A trainers, and the fighter jets will come with increased level of indigenization of 60%. The deliveries will begin in 2024, and the order will be completed by 2028. After achieving acceptance of necessity for buying 106 HTT-40 basic trainers in 2020, new reports indicate that Hindustan Aeronautics will soon get the request for quotation for HTT-40, and the deal for 106 trainers is expected to cost an estimated 8,722 crore rupees. Hindustan Aeronautics has also displayed first of the limited series production light combat helicopters for the Indian Air Force, and HAL has confirmed that three light combat helicopters will be delivered by end of March 2021. The DRDO has displayed a model of the new generation close combat missile for the first time at the ongoing Aero India 2021. We had reported in March 2020 that the DRDO and Indian Air Force have started discussion on the development of next-generation close combat missile under a completely new program that will be carried internally by the 5.5-generation AMCA Mark I and Mark II fighters, and will also get special paint coatings to reduce its radar cross-section for external deployment. It is expected to complete its developmental and testing phase by 2026. Israel's Elbit system has displayed its rampage long-range air-launched ballistic missile at the Aero India 2021, and officials have confirmed that the Indian Air Force will induct the rampage air-to-ground system, and it is compatible with MiG-29 Mirage 2000 Su-30 and Rafale fighter jets, and will be the first air-launch ballistic missile in Indian Air Force's inventory. The Rampage has a range of 150 km, and it features inertial navigation system and global positioning system, and comes with anti-jamming capabilities. The new generation Rampage is a fire-and-forget system, which has been developed to target highly protected targets such as air defense sites, communication and command centers, air force bases, maintenance centers and infrastructure. The Rampage also supports video transmission, and can operate in any weather conditions in both day or night. The Indian Navy's IL-38 SD Maritime Patrol aircraft has successfully tested the KH-35E tactical anti-ship missile against a naval target during the ongoing TRIPEX exercise 2021. The KH-35E has a maximum range of 300 km, and it carries 145 kg warhead, and its radar seeker has a lock-on range of 20 km, which guides the missile onto its target. The KH-35E is designed to sink ships with a displacement of up to 5,000 tons, which means that it will be efficient against enemy frigates and destroyers, and it also has a secondary capability against ground targets. A B-1B Lancer of the U.S. Air Force performed a flyby in formation with the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft at the Aero India 2021, which is a strong example of the deepening defense and strategic partnership between the U.S. and India. After the maiden flight of the first F-15EX fighters built for the U.S. Air Force yesterday, the Deputy Undersecretary of the U.S. Air Force has said that the government-to-government -government foreign military sales route offers a unique opportunity for India to acquire latest U.S. technology, as compared to any other procurement mode, and the U.S. government is looking forward to the formal government-to-government -government request to start the conversation.